And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Targon Elusives. Will be our first deck today. We're gonna have some. We got three donation decks to cover today. Then we're gonna replay Shipwreck Soloist, a deck we played about a month ago. That is a ton of fun. And then after this, starting tomorrow, we're gonna focus more on the upcoming seasonal tournament. And we're gonna be spending like we're doing gonna be doing one deck a day. Um, for like one deck on like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, maybe Saturday in case we, we need to change decks. Um, and then that tournament will be on Sunday. So that's our, our plan for the next few days for the week. But let's let's play some of these fun uh, donation decks. So this one's going to be Elusives, trying them out again, but this time with uh, Targon as a region, giving us Lunari Shadestalker, a very good two mana Elusive. And then some good pump. Pale Cascade is just an amazing card. Mentor the Stones can can make some larger elusives. Plus, it'll die, give us some gems to be able to add in some more power on those elusives. And then we got some good protection with Bastion and, of course, a top-end card with Cygnus. Besides that, with Ionia, we're just going with other protection with Deny and Nopify. So it looks like we're going to be very good against spells, like removal spells, with having Nopify, Bastion, and Deny. Not going to be having really pump spells during combat besides the Pale Cascade. Uh, but um, we've got nine one drops, so that's pretty awesome. We're uh, trying out the new and improved Inspiring Mentor. It's not as good as like the very first Inspiring Mentor. Um, but still, I like this as a 2 1 a lot better than whenever it was a 1 2. Um, so yeah, this, this should be a pretty good card, and uh, yeah, this should be a fun deck to play. So let's get to the games. We're going to go play five games in ranked. So here we go. Targon Elusives. Ranked. Frostbite. Not the best matchup for us to see. Um, mostly our... Uh, okay. This is a good hand, though. Mostly because, like, our plan is to make, like, you know, like, big big elusive and crash in with big elusive, but they can just cancel that out with frostbite cards, especially something like Brittle Steel being, um, you know, very good to play. With one sprint for each crab I saw today. wonder if I wait on Greenblade Duo so it doesn't die to Culling Strike immediately. Right, like maybe I just play like Navori Blade Scout this turn and play Green Glade Duo when I can have Pale Cascade to protect from a Culling Strike. They'll never see me coming. Oh, no, it seems like an option. For two. I'm going to go Mentor the Stones this turn. Okay, or not Mentor the Stones. You. Not the easiest to play. <clears throat> Not the easiest deck to play around. Because it could go like Zed and then pro. Like Bastion's probably gonna have to be proactive, right? Because like their their spells are all burst. All the world on one arrow. Courage masks the heart from fear. Full speed ahead. I'll show you how it's done. I know I can attack with a 2-3 and then Pale Cascade, but that kind of sets me up to having to be able to do that. The time is right. Strike now. I don't want them to get the free block and then I Pale Cascade first and then they Frostbite. That keeps them from being able to kill one of these things. They picked the wrong row. Reckoning is a possibility. Which we can use 
uh, you know, Bastion can protect against Reckoning. Hmm. You can. Let's move. I don't want to play the Blade Scout first, and then and then they they get to Frostbite my Zed. I don't think. We'll see. If I do that, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're at eleven. Quietly. Okay, I guess that's that's worth it. Okay, sweet. I want to know. They will all learn to feel my order. Awesome. We we're just playing those challengers. Last game, Rhyme Fang Wolf. This game, Fiora. Don't know if I need two one drops. Okay. I guess we'll take two one drops. Your weapon, Sunwood. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. These woods protect their own. So they get to challenge my Navori Conspirator now. But I do like that that would be like if this just trades here, that's not them trading with Zed. So that's good. We swim within the flows of magic. Bless the faithful and sear the heretics. I'm gonna save this spell cascade. Invisible to the ignorant. Ooh, Bastion could be good. Shh, quietly. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. I am the blade in the darkness. Obviously, really hope they don't have sharp sight. <laughs> that's, that's too bad. That's the the best card. A gift from the river folk. That was probably the difference between winning and losing. Was if they have sharp sight this turn or not. Perfect hand for them. Yeah, what a perfect hand for them. <laughs> I know, right? Poor Warchefs. You'll soon understand my methods. They picked the wrong row. Really can't afford them to have any more sharp sights. Closing in on the mark. Because I can, I can handle removal spells with Bastion. Come on. Currents, pull them down. What form will the waters take, sisters? Man, that's too bad. They had two Never copies of that. Land and give it life. For the honor of House Laurent, on guard. Try me. How did that move go? A gift from the river folk. Yeah, they had a fantastic hand. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. What's up, KX? Raise your weapon, Sunwood. So I can have one spell, one bastion or deny. I walk this space between worlds. Revolution by our hand. I hope this is Concerted Strike, because that takes up five mana. I mean, they'd still have the two mana left, but for single combat. Basically, if they have two of those things, they, they survive. They have to, we're at least forcing them to have two things. Dang. 
This will be quick. Transgressions. There is no dispute. <clears throat> well, they're good at having it all. Been a long path to get here. Sure. Why not? It must be done. Oh God! Nature blesses her followers. Counter and strike. Glorious. All right, come on, and elusive. Elusive. All right, Blade Scout, you're going to have to do. All right, wow. Can't believe we won that with all the stuff they had. How great their hand was. I can't believe we won that. Wow. Yeah, you can use this deck. Yeah, it is... Here's a link to the deck right there, and you can copy the code from that Mobilytics link. Ash Sejuani again. Our hand is not nearly as good as it was the previous time against Ash Sejuani. Okay, well, now it's getting better. I may want to put it on the Conspirator. You'll thank me later. Just kind of split up the wealth a little bit between these. Welcome. My hand's not as good as it was last time, and their hand is better. It's, you know, the first two turns they didn't do anything, at least. Last time. Patience. The Yordle here's with me. I'm through waiting. Oh. All of a sudden, they were going to attack with the 3 1. I was hoping they would be scared of my 2-1 and 3-1 trading and they wouldn't attack with the 3-1. So I was planning on playing Inspiring Mentor and then having Pill Cascade available, but maybe just playing Keeper of Masks would be better. All the world on one arrow. Okay, so I don't need to keep Pill Cascade available, so yeah, let's just play this Keeper of Masks. Old masks let young eyes see clearly. All right, down to six. Don't need to worry about Reckoning. They're only at one out of five for Ash. Victory requires a sharp blade. My training is unconventional. Hot on the trail. Face me. Okay. So we go here, here. And resist. Puts that puts me down to six. I think six is a reasonable life total to be at. I don't need to like pill cascade to try to kill these things because they don't matter. What what matters is that I do lethal damage to them. And I want to protect against culling strike. I don't want to play Zed and then they culling. I guess I'd I still have pill cascade if I went Zed and then they would culling strike. Okay, eight nine mana, four eight. Hmm. Pledge yourself to the shadows. These stories were true. Full speed ahead. I have many faces. All right, so this this works out here because this this puts them lethal now, so they have to do stuff, and then I got two pill cascades. So 
So I could double Pell Cascade, Green Glade Duo, force them to have another Frostbite card over here. Or I do it to the Zed and kill the Enraged Yeti and then just set up for playing a defensive turn. No, because if they have more Frostbite, I'm dead anyway, so... Yeah, if they have more Frostbite, I'm dead anyway. Because I could have gone... This turn, I could have gone Bastion Bastion. But, okay, yeah, that Bastion Bastion would have worked against Double Frostbite spell. So they did have Double Frostbite spell, so I'm dead. Well... Yeah, I should be dead. So if I, <clears throat> if I would have played the Zed beforehand, would I have been good against double Frostbite? <clears throat> and then had... Yes, yeah, so they had the 1, 2, 3, 4 curve, and then Frostbite spells, and keep me from killing them, so... GG's. Yeah, I know... Yeah, I know so if I would have played Zed first, I still would have had double Bastion available, but it... That wouldn't matter. I still would not have killed them. So... D double frostbite spell is just what they needed and they had it kind of no matter what i did um so this is a hush deck there's one sprint for each crab i saw today Nobify, I think, is only good against Acquired Taste. I think. We shall weave our own destiny. Yeah, it's like these denies and Nobifies aren't very good. Do I let them kill Greenglade Duo? Or do I have them kill Conspirator? Looking for a daring escape. Morning, Cabo. We got four mana next turn. You'll soon understand my methods. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Yeah, this box to puss. I really rough, man. The goodness made. in you, River King. Hope only provides good hand. temporary sustenance, child. We still have the stuff to stop the Tom Kench, but the Boxtopus is going to kill me. They'll never see me coming. Celestial power. Nah, it just doesn't make sense to do that that way. Let's put them down to five. If they don't have Hush, we could kill them from five. But, I mean, they could they could also have Guiding Touch. But, you know, this Blade Scout with gems. Could work. Okay, then a Keeper of Masks. That can help. Yeah, it's still morning over here. Stars fall. I do enjoy. Where are you off to? That's me, Buddhist. Live with purpose. The star child. I'll clear no. Good to see you too. Yeah, their hand was awesome. I've been impressed with our deck, though, for sure, because our opponents have had incredible hands, and we are still 2-1. and one. 
I've been very impressed with what we've what we've been doing. So close to killing them, but I just don't quite kill them. Allow me a small sample. See the world through new eyes. Closing in on the mark. You are better than this. Another obstacle. Because we've we've ran into three opponents in a row that have had like the best possible stuff. Yeah, this was Boxtopus and a Soraka, Tom Kench, and uh, then Broadback Protector. Like their deck doesn't get any better than that, as far especially as far as like Boxtopus being super important removal for for my elusives because they can't block them, and then of course the two champions. How and then the game before, you know, is Omen Hawk into Iceville Archer that saved them some life into 4-4 four, four, Avaros and Trapper, into Ash, into the double Frostbite spell they needed to stay alive. And then, of course, the game before that with the uh, Fiora deck, they had the double Sharp Sight. Both of those were super clutch. And, you know, had the, heart. Live uh, with purpose. you know, one through five curve. Also, that ended up with the five mana challenger. And Fiora. And Fleet Feather Tracker. And yeah, thanks, Cabo. Cabo goes, they need to drop the landmark here to have the perfect hand. And yep, there they go. Be at peace. <laughs> I don't know what my best draw is this next turn. Put me in, Tommy boy. Oh, I'll be happy to accommodate Pablo. I'm sure there's something for my taste. So still been pretty impressed with our deck for um, how close these games have been, for how perfect our opponent's hands have been. Okay, Leona, Targon, um, Invoke, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully we can be too fast for them. That's the hope. I, I like our chances. We'll have to see. You know, they, they could just play Hush and that would uh, be pretty bad. Opening hand, very good. Hey, Krabby. That's my We're going to have place. Green Glade Duo on two, Mentor on three. Turn four, we'll unload all of these and uh, you know, really pump up this Green Glade Duo. We've basically only played against Frostbite and Hush decks. <laughs> That's what it's been. Frostbite, lots of, bunch of Hush. And I guess the other deck was Sharp Sight. They had multiple Sharp Sights. To be able to just block the elusives. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. So there's like, um, what a specimen. you know, like just a, a couple of cards that effectively deal with like those cheap elusives, and that's all we've ran into. So really hoping no hush, and no sharp sight, and no single combat. Or anything like that. Now, well, I guess they have a single combat. <laughs> yeah, they really have been making a bunch of anti elusive stuff recently with Sharp Sight and Hush. The dawn has arrived. Behold the sun's holy light. Back 
later. Just gonna let that happen for now. We're not gonna be able to really kill them right right now anyway, and just kind of hold on to some stuff. Like he being denied. Like it definitely seems like they had the single combat. So I want to try to play around that a little bit. Yeah, I think I like I like just setting up Bastion. Oh, I, I should have done I should have done set up Bastion and then Hell with Deny. I shouldn't have played that gem. But now I'm in the, the gem category. Next turn we have nine mana. Six, seven, eight, nine. So that'd be four. Hmm. I, I, I really wish I didn't play the two gems, but I think that for what I want, if I want to have deny and everything available next turn, also I gotta just do this right now and just hope that they don't have double single combat or hush single combat. All right, good night, Buddhist. Okay, cool. They didn't get punished. Eight mana. So four. I only get one keeper of masks. My training is unconventional. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, this is only thirteen. Oh, I'm one short. See the world through new eyes. I don't think they necessarily have a bad hand. I think that they could be just setting up sharp sight block. I, can't, I just can't stop sharp sight though. I think they're setting up sharp sight block. So if that's the plan, sharp sight block. Maybe I just don't worry about having deny available, and I play this other keeper of masks. You think he would just attack here with deny? I'm I'm attacking with everything, of course. Closing in on the mark. That means you can. Well, no sharp sight, that's good. Justice will be served. Man, just that one damage. It's gonna be close. As long as, they, as long as they don't have Sharp Sight or Double Hush, we'll be good. But if they have Sharp Sight, we lose. And if they have Double Hush, we lose. I've definitely seen this deck play Sharp Sight before. Banish the unworthy! I wanted to use the gem to be able to make this elusive. We are one in the same, sun child. No more than life. Behold the divine power. Okay, I have to attack immediately. If, if I play something else first, then they get the, you know, daybreak. Let's move. Then they can just heal their nexus, though. Yeah, I guess they can just have star shaping and win with that. Okay, I think we got him. Man, that was super close. That was super close.
Okay, so we went three and two. Um, very impressed with this deck, honestly. I yeah, very impressed with how this deck played. I, I like how it how it did play out those games. Um, I think that we got some uh, some opponents that ran really hot that were able to defeat us. Um, but I think that but I was I was impressed with just the consistency of the aggressiveness and everything with this deck, and you know I think that uh, game after game that you were putting on a pretty pretty. Uh, you know, pretty good aggressive threat. Now, I guess I, I did do a great job of drawing Greenglade Duo. Basically, every single game I had Greenglade Duo. I think I think I did like every single game I had turned to Greenglade Duo. So I think that that was a, a big part of it. I think I uh, drew well in that respect. But um, yeah, I was I was very impressed with how much damage this deck could deal uh, quickly, and then having the backup with your Nopify Deny Bastion. I liked it. Yeah, so this is a nice deck here. Yeah, nice. So yeah, this was nice. Phil's deck. Yeah, three two, not bad at all. And yeah, three two with two opponents running super hot, not bad at all. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Targon Elusives, and I'll see you for the next video.